before we start, I want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to El Roblox. Not many games on Roblox can brag about hitting the 1 million concurrent player mark in a single session, except for the notorious Adopt Me. Released back in 2017, nobody had the slightest idea that this particular game would skyrocket Roblox's gamer base. It was after the pets update that the game saw a huge jump in numbers, but where did it go wrong? No dating. Roblox has a set rules that every player has to read in the terms and agreements. Nobody really does, though. One rule that's highlighted quite prominently is that there's no online dating allowed. The game has a voice chat feature which enables players to interact with other players in the lobby and can be used as a source for approaching someone with a not-so-good agenda. Considering that the game is focused towards a younger audience, mostly preteens, a feature like voice chat leaves them vulnerable to many things you would not want a preteen to listen to. When Adami started to hit the popularity charts, it became a playground for adults to interact with each other and go online virtual dates, which angered a large part of the community. Although this was not the only time it had happened, to this day it happens to a lot of other Roblox games despite many restrictions being imposed. An admin is deployed to monitor lobbies to find possible online dating and warn or ban people who wish to go against the basic rules of Roblox. Adopt Me landed itself in hot waters when the community's outrage towards online virtual dating within the game became way too obvious. Um, so that's gonna be diversity. One of the best features of Roblox has to be its diverse community. A game intended for kids, but the adults equally enjoy making up for most of the community. Same goes for the game Adopt Me. The community's full of kids and adults at the same time, however there's a serious divide. Most people think that the success of Adopt Me is correlated to the fact that a large number of kids play Roblox as the game model caters to a childish vibe, like most other Roblox games. All the hate comes from the adult players who don't like how the game works. The constant updates have messed up the game according to a few adult gamers. The more mature audience refers to this game as an online shop which is full of limited items and cosmetics that only cater to children. Adults don't fall prey to these tactics by the game developers. The initial success of the game is also owed to the younger audience. When the game's creator Dreamcraft added a pet rock as a joke to the game, Surprisingly, the game became a huge hit and is still the biggest game in Roblox's history. I've heard, I'm not sure about it, but the ocean egg should be for free like the starter one. There's gonna be multi- Rumors. Many people would say that the game only gets hate because it's successful, which many other Roblox games were not able to do. Adami did it easily. Certainly, if a game is able to attract 1 million concurrent players at a time, it has to be really good. The hate had become so deep-rooted among a few that they started launching numerous rumors about the quality of the security wall of the game. Many spread the word that Adami is very easy to hack, and in case of a hack, all premium items and Robux in-game currency will be stolen. However, these claims were nullified by the creators of the game later on. Even though the player base did not take a significant hit, scams are abundant in Roblox games, not just Adopt Me, but many popular and less popular games have fallen prey to scammers trying to fool children into giving their Roblox credentials or their credit card credentials, resulting in huge losses for their parents. Another reason the whole adult opposition happened towards this game. Scammers usually try to use the namesake of popular games and promise the player of trading limited items for cheap or just straight up sending them Robux for free and in a game like Adopt Me where most of the players is kids, it's very easy to fool them. Monetization This is the era of monetization. Free to play games are abundant but what people don't realize is that if they get addicted to the game, they're in a bumpy road for monetary terms. Adami has been heavily criticized in the last three years about their in-game store, where players can spend Robux to buy or trade items. Robux that can be bought with real-life money. Adami heavily prices their in-game items and they're not even worth it. The customization and designs available are overpriced and only cater to kids who are more likely to consider buying the feeble upgrades that provide little to no incentive within the game. According to a few players, the game model is very simple. However, the in-game store is just bizarre, and the developers are money grabbers trying to milk their customers off just because their game is successful by accident. You guys, you should be able to get it. Go get it, because it's going to be rare in the future, and there you go. In one day, it's rare. But anyways, guys, this brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen, because I'm sure you'll love them. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.